we have the water and metric progressions. Also, how to find its end term. Uh, find its end term. Now, today we are going to discuss the sum of first n terms of an AP. Sum of first n terms. First n terms of an AP. How can you find the sum of first 10 natural numbers? The easiest way is this. Mm -hmm. First 10 natural numbers. Uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. plus 10 is equal to. We make a um, special arrangement to find the sum. Instead of finding 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 6, a new arrangement can be made to find the sum of these. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. plus 10. And arrange this first uh, 10 natural numbers in the reverse order. 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus etc. plus 1. Now take the sum of each term. 10 plus 1, 11. 9, uh, 2 plus 9, 11. 3 plus 8, 11. Plus etc. plus 11. How many times we take 11? But because uh, 1 to 10 are arranged in, are arranged in the form um, 1 to 10 in 2 times. That is 1 to 10 and 10 to 1. Each term occurs 2 times. So we have 10 times 11. 11, 11, 11, 11, 10 times 11. Now we require only the sum of the natural numbers 1 to 10. Here we have this sum choice the sum which we require. So the sum is equal to what? 10 into 11 by 2. 10 into 11 by 2 equal to 55. This method can be used to find the sum of n consecutive, the first n consecutive terms of an AP. Let us see how. Consider the general AP A, A plus D, A plus 2D, etc. plus a plus n minus 1 into d. This is a finite AP. We are going to find the sum of finite AP. For first n consecutive terms of an AP means finite AP. So to find the sum of this, let s c equal to this. Then <coughs> um, we can for, to find the sum take s1 equal to a plus a plus b plus a plus 2d plus x of a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. S2 equal to reverse of a plus n minus 1 into d plus a plus n minus 2 into d plus x of a plus a last one. First one. Now take s1 plus s2. S1 plus S2 equal to A plus A plus N minus 1 into D. A plus A plus N minus 1 into D. A plus A 2A. 2A plus N minus 1 into D plus. Here A plus D plus A plus N minus 2D. A plus D a plus b plus a plus n minus 2 into d. n minus 2 into d. n d minus 2d. a plus a 2a. d minus 2d minus d plus n d minus d equal to 2a plus 
n minus 1 into that is 2a plus n minus 1 into d plus etc plus 2a plus n minus 1 into d that is each term is 2a plus n minus 1 into d s1 plus s2 actually this is 2s s1 plus s2 is 2 times s equal to L 2a plus n minus 1 into d how many times 2a plus n minus 1 into d n times n times n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d 1 2 3 4 etc n times because we here we have n consecutive terms n consecutive terms so 2s equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d <coughs> so what is s sum n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d whole divided by q which is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d this is the sum of first n terms of n n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d here n number of terms a first term d all of That is, we have sum of n consecutive terms, sum of n uh, consecutive terms, terms of an AP, AP, sum of n consecutive terms of an AP, yes, n equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. For example, find the sum of find the sum of first 20 terms 20 terms of the AP A three minus two etc. You know that uh, here n equal to twenty. So yes, and we have S n equal to n by two into two a plus n minus one into b n equal to 20, a equal to 8, d is equal to 3 minus 8 minus 5. So, equal to 20 by 2 into 2 into 8 plus 20 minus 1 into d minus 5 equal to 10 into 60 plus 19 into minus 5 equal to 10 into 16 plus minus 95 is equal to minus 790 minus 790 so consider this equation as n equal to sum of n terms equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Here this can also be written as n by 2 into 2a can be written as a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. A plus a plus n minus 1 into d. Splitting. What is a? a equal to first term a a plus n minus 1 into d nth term nth term nth term meaning in the given uh, since uh, the given ap is a finite ap the nth term means last term let it be n then sum of n terms consecutive n terms of an ap is n by 2 into a plus n that means 
this can also be written in the form n by 2 into n by 2 into a plus n first term plus last term so sum of n terms of n consecutive terms of a of an a b can be calculated using either this one or this one is two results either this, this result or this result this result we can use where we are given an infinite ap and a finite number of terms can be calculated where we require the sum of the finite number of terms of an infinite ap in infinite ap we can make use of this idea here this can be used where we are given a finite ap the ap contains only a finite number of terms for example now for example suppose we want to find the sum of the ap 7 13 19 etc 205 it is a finite ap finite ap so for in this case it is easy to calculate the sum using n by 2 sum equal to sum equal to sum of n terms equal to n by 2 into a plus n because we are given a as 7 and we can take the last term as 2050. But one more thing is required here to find the sum n. We can find the n means the number of terms. We don't know how many terms are there in the given AP. So to find n, we can make use of the idea we have already used to find the n number of terms of an AP. We know that n equal to um, an minus a1 by d plus 1. an n the term, a1 first term, d on a difference. So here, but um, a equal to 7, n equal to 205. That means an equal to 205, a1 equal to 7 by common difference, d equal to 30 minus 7 equal to 6 6 plus 1 equal to 198 by 6 plus 1 equal to uh, equal to 34 34 so d equal to d equal to 13 minus 7 equal to 6 here n equal to 34, a equal to 7, n equal to 205. Now what is S34? S34 is equal to n by 2, 34 by 2 into a 7 plus l 205. 5 is equal to 17 into 200 and 200 and 3604. So, either to find the sum of n consecutive terms or first n terms of n AP, either we can use n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d or n by 2 into a plus l. We can choose this according to the context, according to the context in which uh, uh, the given AP is. <coughs> so now we, uh, when you, we have seen how to calculate the uh, sum of n consecutive terms of an AP using either using Sn equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d or Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus L. Now you note this. Study the pages 107 to 111 of the textbook. Also study the examples 11 to 16. Then after that do the exercise 5.3 questions 1 and 2 or some questions. Thank you.